Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Crypto News Channel. The future of technology. The future of freedom, the future of news, and all this have a binary code. Daily Crypto News. Multiple crypto exchanges are secretly insolvent, warns SBF. SBF CEO says he's willing to do a somewhat bad deal here if that's what it takes to sort of stabilize things and protect customers, he said. SBF and Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao are not naive about which firms deserve a bailout. Last month, publicly traded industry giants actually sold more Bitcoin than they generated, with an even bigger sell-off expected in June. SBF is also keeping an eye on Bitcoin miners whose revenues steeply declined following Bitcoin's crash in early May. BlockFi gets money services license in Iowa weeks after paying a $1 million penalty. BlockFi offered a securities trading platform to Iowan residents without registering it with the appropriate authorities. Iowa Insurance Division ordered the crypto lender to cease operation and pay $943,000 for violating the securities law in the jurisdiction. The fine was part of the company's $100 million settlement with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission and other regulators in 32 states. BlockFi said it would increase interest rates on seven crypto assets across all tiers of its BlockFi interest account the new APYs will go into effect on July 1. FTX is planning to acquire a stake in the crypto lending company. Three Arrows Capital ordered into liquidation by a British Virgin Islands court. Singapore-based Three Arrows Capital has reportedly been ordered into liquidation following the downturn of the market and challenges it faced recently. According to Sky News, a court in the British Virgin Islands has ordered the hedge fund to liquidate. The immediate financial implications for creditors of 3AC are unclear. Voyager Digital, one of the creditors, previously disclosed exposure to the extent of some $500 million to 3AC. Meanwhile, the broader cryptocurrency market took a beating on Wednesday and is down some $60 billion over the past 48 hours. That's all the most interesting news so far. Don't forget to subscribe to Daily Crypto News and hit the bell so you don't miss important crypto signals. See you soon.